celebrating victory over the coronavirus, an 87-year-old man is wheeled out of St. Luke's Hospital to cheering loved ones this afternoon. That man is one of many as the number of people recovering from COVID-19 is going up. Tonight, News Force Russell Kinsall is in Chesterfield with an exclusive look at this bright spot in what has been an unimaginable fight. Russell. Well, 87-year-old Don Lockmiller is at home with his family. His 10-day stay here at St. Luke's Hospital came to an end today. But his story is one that has an optimistic message for others. Senior adults can beat this virus, and it's worth celebrating when they do. We couldn't see him for so many days, and it was hard to be away um, from him. Relatives of Don Lockmiller gathered outside St. Luke's Hospital, some carrying signs. After days of lots of prayer and hoping, they were anxious to celebrate his victory over coronavirus. About uh, two weeks ago, he was suffering diarrhea. He had a mild fever, but still a little bit of a fever and just dehydrated and, and just couldn't get out of bed. After 10 days at St. Luke's, the staff was just as ready to celebrate his improved health. They lined the hallway to give him a big send off. <laughs> Relatives say he never showed the classic symptoms of COVID-19. They brought him in because he was weak and dehydrated. It wasn't until he was here that he was tested. The test came back positive. Now, Lockmiller is pretty positive about his recovery. And I'm feeling wonderful and I'm delighted to be alive and re well and ready to go again. Relatives say he never got bad enough to be on a ventilator. And while he was here, doctors treated Lockmiller with hydroxychloroquine and an antibiotic drip. So was the experimental drug combo a miracle cure? It, it took a while, uh, a couple days for his body to get used to it, but he really perked up and was telling jokes again. The no visitor policy that all hospitals are observing now was hard for the family, but they're confident he was in good hands. And the staff here has been phenomenal at keeping us informed and uh, and just always being there for him. So, I mean, kudos to St. Luke's. They've really done a wonderful job. Now it's time to go home to continue the recovery and the celebration of another victory over coronavirus. So Don Lockmiller is kind of famous for his jokes. His family, they call them bad jokes. But I'll tell you what, after 10 days here in the hospital battling COVID-19, those jokes have never sounded better. Live in Chesterfield, Russell Kinsall, News 4.